Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Victoria Monique and I am here to explain, no, help you remember how the game of life is played. Because I'm not telling you anything new. All of this you already know. And all of us, I am, we're all just walking each other home. So nice to see you today. This is going to be kind of filled with my personal beliefs. So tell yourself that you only take on what serves you. Do not take anything that doesn't serve you ever. And especially now. I'm going to talk body, age, food, uh, body size, beauty, all of that wonderful stuff that we also came to experience. So first of all, a healthy body and beauty is our birthright, period. It is our birthright. Okay, having that said, there are so many ways to get to health and what you consider beauty. Maybe you're there, maybe you're not there, maybe you're there sometimes, maybe you're not there at all. I'm going to tell you what works from my experience and there are a lot of collective consciousness, collective consciousness <laughs> beliefs in there. And I choose them with open eyes. I know that I have them and it's just easier for me to work with these because it also really feels so much better to my body. And what they are, I'm going to share with you in a moment. First, I want to also emphasize this, not because I believe in it, but you might still believe in it. And I know that a whole bunch of people believe in it. I am, my age on my passport says that I'm 47 years old. I was born 25th of August, 1976. I'm almost 48. Now, most people, <laughs> some faint, no, some almost faint. Um, because they just can't believe that someone that looks like me has so much energy can do the things that I can do physically is that age. Well, I am. It is possible. And I actually have a belief that I will continue to look super young throughout my whole life. I also decided that I'm going to be 120. So... All of this to say, do not believe anything that they tell you with regards when you're past this and that age, well, then your hormones, blah, 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 blah. If, if it works for you, sure, go for it. If it doesn't, do not. That's the rule of thumb, right? Does it feel good? No, then don't go there. <laughs> That's just the rule of thumb. Okay. So, with regards to let's do health and beauty. So, health to me also means mental health, by the way. Like, what is going on in that beautiful head of yours? Like, I, will, I, I always have the, the idea that thoughts are here, but maybe they're not located there. Maybe they're somewhere, somewhere else. Who says? And who knows? Um, so mental health is also what thoughts are you thinking? Because Seth says this, and more teachers say, your body is literally your conscious creation or unconscious creation, depends on how conscious you are. It literally is based on what you are thinking about how you look and how you feel and how you, if you're healthy or not. Now, <clears throat> I know that what I'm about to say, that those are all beliefs and they work for me. And that's why I'm sharing this with you. Because I don't know, you might have this, that you're like, okay, I'm a conscious creator, so I should be able to eat 15 bars of chocolate, feel good afterwards, 
and don't gain one gram of fat or weight or whatever. Maybe you gave yourself that, um, maybe you put that onto yourself and you expect that from yourself because you are a conscious creator. So should, you should be able to do anything, no? Well, uh, yeah, does it feel good? I bet it doesn't because I've been hard on myself that way. So that's why I'm making this video because I'm not at all anymore at all. Who's got time for being hard on themselves? I mean, I don't, I've got better things to do, right? Okay, so here they come, my beliefs, because they are beliefs. You don't, it doesn't have to work like this for you. It works like this for me. When I do not eat anything after six, eat enough during the daytime, like I stuff my face with delicious, healthy things though. If I don't eat anything after six and I eat things that my body loves and, and really nourish my body, and I will get to that in a bit, what it is then exactly that I do, I look way better. My skin looks way better. I feel on top of the world. I have energy for days in one day. And my workouts are intense and nice and wonderful. Is that like this 365? No. Is it like this 355? Yeah, I, I think I can say yes. 355, yeah. Uh, 345, maybe in between that. Yeah, all of this to say, it works for me. It works for me, dude. I've tried the other way. I've tried the eat a bag, like literally eat a whole bag of wine gums for my cheat day. <laughs> and I feel like fucking crap, <laughs> like no energy, bad thoughts, just feeling shit all over. Dude, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I do not want to go into the, I can do this. My mind can do this. I know it works. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'd rather take that precious energy and put it into a workout, put it into a hot physical action, put it into swimming with my friends putting into putting it into seeing my family putting it into dancing not into i can eat a bag of wine gums and not gain an ounce and feel good it's not worth it it's just not worth it for me might be worth it for you not for me second thing i know i know within every fiber of my being that my physical body is a part an, impo an important part of my purpose here on planet earth we all have a purpose i know exactly what mine is and since a couple of days i have laser sharp clarity on that and how do i know because as soon as i wrote out my passion, my principles, and my, what is the other word? Passion, principles, and yeah, purpose. <laughs> Everything around me, the things that I saw, all had to do with that. And you can't make that stuff up, no. You just can't make it up. You cannot make it up. Everything started to percolate even more I could feel that surge of energy that I cannot explain it into words it's that vibrancy it's that yeah it's that extra I have even more energy than I already had and I had a lot of energy already that's a belief yes and a good one to have too so where am I going with this again? Oh yeah, my body. 
So, I also believe I know because it's a belief and our whole world is built of beliefs and I can keep saying this and I will because I want myself and you to really get this. I pick and choose my beliefs and I go into it with open eyes and I'm like, yeah, I know that this is collective consciousness and it works for me. So what do I do and what don't I do? So for instance, with regards to um, biological stuff, like that is not good because it's not biological. This is good because it is. I don't go there. I eat bio and not bio, depending on what my body points me to. Not my head, not the price tag, what my body points me to. Because she knows, she knows, she is my gui <clears throat> guidance system on planet Earth, on physical Earth. Yeah, physical body, physical Earth, guidance system, antenna. Not what my brain tells me. No, no, my brain doesn't know. My body knows. Brain good, body awesome. Yeah, okay. So she points me to whatever I should eat, what not. So I don't go for bio, not bio. I do go for no processed crap, um, no, almost no, it happens. Almost no fried stuff, as fresh as possible. Whenever I have something cooked because I bake rice, I cook rice and I bake it. Whenever I have that, I always make sure to have things like greens, greens in there because the greens, I, when, I, when I eat it, I can feel the life energy, the prana of that product. Maybe it is because I have a lot of yogi in me because part of me is India and yogis come from India. <laughs> maybe I'll start a discussion now. Maybe not. I don't really care. Who knows what it is? I don't care. I know that it works for me. And yes, you can eat steaks with fries topped up with cheese and butter. If I do that, I go knock out for a week. First of all, I don't, I hardly eat meat. It happens hardly. Which doesn't, like, okay, I don't have a judgment. You do you. You do what works for you. I do not have a judgment about what you put into your mouth and into your body and into your vessel. I do me, you do you. This is what doesn't and what does works for me, work for me. So what do I eat and what do I drink? It differs. At the moment I'm here, at the moment I'm here, I drink a morning smoothie with uh, some green vegetables. So either spinach and now it's kale because I did spinach for about a week. Um, then I add a scoop of spirulina mixed with uh, cacao powder and a date uh, cold tea that I steep in my fridge overnight either green tea if I don't have a coffee, sometimes I do have a coffee too after, green tea or another tea, uh, put it all in a blender with a bit of oat milk, and that is delicious. Did someone give me the recipe? No, inspiration. And that's how I do all my things, that's how I eat. I eat from inspiration, and sometimes my inspiration is eat a bag of really shitty stuff that I feel awful. I have an awful training and then I'm cured again for a while until it happens again. Because I'm not here to be a goody two shoes and to never make mistakes at all. I'm here to have a wonderful human life experience, a wonderful human life experience, not one that I feel sluggish and bad and have shitty thoughts. And because that's also what I notice. When I eat crap, my default thoughts are shit. That's how it works for me. Doesn't have to be true for you. It might. You might want to test it out. The fact is, if you're still listening, 
there is something in here that is true for you because otherwise you first of all wouldn't be guided to listen to this and second of all you wouldn't be still listening to this and when you feel fucking triggered like you're actually getting a bit pissed then it's for sure true for you for sure because that's how the mechanism works in us in any case in any case in any case whatever works for you works for you that's how it is and if it doesn't it doesn't hey that was a truth right there um yeah i think i've shared with you everything that i wanted to share oh yeah last thing two things if you do not if you cannot yet listen to your body's intelligence because your body knows your body knows she knows she's fucking or he intelligent like crazy it's amazing if you can't listen to it yet i have two tips for you or if you want guidance you can work with me see the link in the description the first is listen to yourself in meditation don't try to clear your mind just listen close your eyes tune in listen i bet there's a message we are the flute we're being played something is playing the flute the higher self is playing the flute we are the flute we're the instrument we're not the player of the instrument the higher self is or god how whatever your belief is but something else is playing the flute beautiful analogy i heard in an interview yesterday second thing box breathing i explained box breathing in my previous video if you haven't seen or heard it heard it um this is it four counts in breath four counts pause four counts out breath four counts pause and start again for at least five minutes every day that's it your body knows you better start listening because it will guide you it's your body that gets you over the bridges of incidents it's not anything else it's your body so treat it like it's deserved like it deserves to be treated and don't forget to have fun along the way i wish you a beautiful rest of the day I wish you wisdom, magic, and amazingness, and I will see you in the next. Peace.